Hi learners, welcome to Uni5 study. From the date of application release, we are getting so many questions regarding the category doubts. So here we are going to clarify the doubts regarding the OBC, NCL details, general EWS details, SC, ST, what document has to be uploaded in that category certificate, how to approach the officials to get the OBC, NCL certificate and all these things we are going to discuss today. So C for OBC certificate. Uh, people who have their BC certificate of their concern, uh, the respective state government, when they are going to apply for a central government exam, they are supposed to apply for this OBC certificate. So how to apply the OBC certificate? Uh, we have to approach the nearby Taluk office by taking all these possible documents with us so that we will be helping us to get the OBC certificate. We have to need an income certificate of a parents or our individual. Uh, the income certificate can be produced by the last month pay slip of our parents or of ourselves. So, so may, we may be working when we submit our in, uh, monthly income pay slip, then we'll be getting our of our parents. And we should need our smart card, our Aadhaar card, and a BC certificate. By submitting all these letters covering with the covering letter, we'll be getting. Uh, in some states, they are availing this procedure through online. In some states, they are, we have to approach the respective uh, VAO, RI, and Dasildar. Uh, through this hierarchy, we will be getting the OPC certificate. If in Tamil, uh, this whether for that we have to check whether we belong to OBC NCL or not. See, in our information bulletin, they have mentioned uh, we are, can check whether we belong to OBC NCL category in this particular uh, link ncbc.nic.in. If our community is not under this central list, then we have to apply for general. Okay, then how to apply? How to check whether we belong to that OBC NCL list? That we can, when we go into this site, ncbc.nic.in, National Commission for Backward Classes, here we have an option called the Central List of uh, OBCs. See, here we have a Central List of OBC. When we click this, uh, when we click the Central List of OBCs, uh, we will be getting uh, uh, all the respective states that are there in, uh, in India and their respective BC backward classes list. Uh, so see here I have taken Tamil Nadu as an example and here I have selected uh, Yadava, I have searched for Yadava. Uh, see Yadava is there in this common list. It means this community will also comes under the national uh, central list. We can, uh, this, uh, this community people are eligible to apply for the OBC NCL list. There are some communities which are not comes under this category. That we have to check whether our uh, community comes under this list or not with respect to their states. So after confirming this, we can apply approach the e-seva center uh, so that we can get our OBC certificate by submitting the above set documents. Uh, so this is how we can get from the uh, say Tamil Nadu state government. We have to approach the e-seva uh, e center, submit all the documents. They will make everything through online and they will give you an acknowledgement slip. Uh, when we approach the RA and the VAO and they will when we request them the situation that we are applying for a central exam to make it possible to get it soon, they will possibly help us to get the certificate as early as possible. By the maximum of 7 days, we will be getting the OBC certificate so that we can get the certificate. Similarly, this is for Karnataka. Uh, this is a portal where we have, they are given the details of uh, the documents to be submitted. Uh, and this is similarly for Telangana. They have given application form also. So by downloading the application form and filling the, all the necessary details and when we submit to the officials, they will be helping us to get the OBC certificate. Similarly, this is for Andhra Pradesh. Uh, we have in Andhra Pradesh uh, uh, online portal, we have an option for the OBC certificate and through which we can approach or we can meet the person, uh, officials in, uh, uh, in, the, in their respective office uh, so that we can get the OBC certificate. Uh, and then we have also have a, uh, so at last we these are the documents that we have to carry to get our OBC NCL certificate, okay, non creamy layer certificate. Then next we have doubts regarding the general EWS. General EWS is a category, the people who do not come under SC, ST or OBC, okay, they come only under general category and they have some kind of a exemption with respect to their family annual income and these are some it, and these are some conditions they have given. If they have met this condition, if they don't have these things, then they will be eligible for the getting the EWA certificate. For this also same procedure, uh, by submitting the uh, above set documents, uh, we will be getting the EWA certificate of uh, the general category. This is applicable only for general category, not for BC, SC or ST. 
right okay and uh, before uploading your application form kindly make sure that you have all these documents here our doubts is mainly with this category certificate so this time we are, we are supposed to mandatorily upload the category certificate so that we will not get any problems in the uh, future after clearing the exam so it is on the safer side when we upload all the category certificates then i think so uh, will be safe will be on the safe side right so these are the doubts clarifications which we got from the students uh, for the past two, two days regarding the obc certificate so you please kindly contact your e seva centers uh, nearby to your location and approach them with the possible documents which we have mentioned here so that you will be getting your obc certificate hope you have cleared your doubts if you have more doubts please kindly put in the comment section we will be uh, helping you thank you bye